A new artist has been launched into the spotlight. With her unique sound, 23-year-old singer-songwriter Posey captured the attention of superstars Fergie, Stefan Macchio, and Scott Borchetta to be chosen to launch a new original song. Here to perform Soldier of Love for the first time on national television, Posey. Like I'm a story with no words Like I'm a heartache with no cure Caught in a storm with no rain And I feel like I'm a body with no parts A suit of armor with no heart Sleepwalking through all my days Could you wake me up? Could you wake me up? Boy. Yes, Posey, that was amazing. Hello, everybody. <laughs> nice to see you nice and hear you. you. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm going to dive right into the obvious, and that is your sound. Very unique tone in your voice. And in fact, all the mentors throughout your episode were remarking on how different and unique your sound was. I'm curious to know, how did you hone the Posey sound? Um, I think it all started because I uh, took singing lessons from this woman who taught a lot of like classical vocalists and like jazz musicians. So I learned a lot of like power techniques to make my voice like technically strong um, so I can hit lots of notes. Uh, but then I, I realized when I went to recitals that everyone was kind of starting to sound the same and I didn't want to sound like that. Yeah. So I stopped taking lessons once I had the tools and, and just listened to a lot of different kinds of music and, and tried to make a nice powerful version of me. <laughs> and you is what you are. Very, very unique. Um, Fergie, we saw in the episode, Fergie say, I was covered in goosebumps after your audition. What was auditioning like for you? 
Um, it was it was such a dream come true, first of all. Walking in was so nerve-wracking because you're sitting there <laughs> and you realize who all the people are and how much you know presence they have in the industry. Um, but I just tried to think about it like as if I was like alone in my room and singing for fun <laughs> because like this is what I love to do. Um, and and once I like got out of my own head, it was it was really enjoyable. But then they would say something amazing to me and I would be like, oh my god, I can't believe these people think I'm good. Like, <laughs> it's, it's like pinch me moments yeah, along the way. Yeah, a lot of those. Okay, let's fast forward now to the recording session in the studio and you worked very closely with Stefan Macchio and he had described on camera that this was going to be some kind of power ballad in the way that they were seeing the song for you and tailoring it to your voice. And then Scott Borchetta off camera says, you know, she's got a gear. She's got one more gear that she's going to have to like fire into. How did you get yourself to that place to hit that place that Stefan and Scott were hoping you were going to get to. Yeah, um, I think that place is always something that I've like wanted to be in because whenever I think of my music, I always think of that scene in Chronicles of Narnia when the two like sides are about to rush each other like at war, and then they go like for Narnia, and I just want to like <laughs> make music that fits into that like moment, um, and I feel like that's what this song is. So I just tried to think about that and and just really be like, this is your shot. You have to give it everything you have. I love the reference. <laughs> it's so posy. <laughs> yeah. It really is. So let's get into now the performance side of it. You worked with Fergie for your onstage presence. And during the audition, when I think Fergie was asked you, what's your spirit animal? And you said, well, a lot of people say I look like a deer. And then they were like, no, you're a lion. So how was that like working with your um, mentor with Fergie to, to establish who you were going to be on stage with that song? Yeah. Um, I think like up until this point when I when I participated in the launch, everyone had always when they saw me live be like, you have an amazing voice, you're so unique, you're, you have a great voice. Um, but no one ever really talked about me beyond that. And, and this show I think helped me realize that I could be someone who has a great stage presence and is a great performer and, and helped me get out from being just behind the keyboards. Um, so. Yeah, I, I'm really happy that that happened. So let's get to how you perceived um, your onstage performance. Steph and Maki, all of them really, they couldn't take their eyes off of you when you were just owning that stage. <laughs> did you feel comfort? Did you rest in that? Or was there still a lot of thinking going on behind it? Um, if I'm being completely honest, I don't even super remember it that well because <laughs> it was just this like huge out of body thing where I was like, I've never done this before. I hope it looks cool on stage. <laughs> it's that thing where it's like, you look really good in a photo if you look uncomfortable. So I just tried to to, like push myself to a point where I felt uncomfortable and I was like we're probably in the right place now. It worked. I'll yeah. just say. And it, it was super fun. And finally when you hear heard the words we are going to launch your single. Mm -hmm. What happened? Um, well I think everything in my brain stopped working and I cried. Um, but it was just so cool because like I like never thought I could achieve something like this. Mm -hmm. And then it was just that moment where it was like, you did it, like it's happening. So that was really cool for me. Well, you did it <laughs> and yeah. now you're here and now we know your name. Congratulations <laughs> on launching so the single. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Soldier of Love is the song. It is now available nationwide. Do not forget that the launch is back Wednesday with award-winning singer-songwriter Julia Michaels, another not-to-be-missed episode.